In a previous lesson, you learned how to connect the two parts of the pattern in the front with zipper or zip tool. In this lesson, I want to explain how to use a button interesting tool here. Okay, uh, for creating button, <clears throat> we need the overlap for two parts. Go into this symmetry pattern, select this pattern, and make it a little bit bigger like this. <clears throat> Okay, make it a little bigger. As you can see, we have an overlap here. And now you can uh, create a button on this part to connect that. So we are in 2D. You can do it exactly in 3D or 2D. Uh, I suggest that you in a 3D a little bit offset uh, this pattern to see both sides better and uh, if in this part you can you if you want to create a button here and then another point button hole make the button part a little bit, bit offset or above that part like this in this situation if I, I want to see that I make it here and before simulating do it like this so uh, you can do it both in 3d or 3d <clears throat> first I selected one point, one, sorry, one uh, button. You can create, I suggest you create a button in the 2D. Create a button here. And as you can see, create button here. But you can uh, go to the edit button hole. Here it's edit. Select it and uh, change it in a 3D to better see. And in the corresponding part, we need to create a buttonhole to set the button, to fasten the button to buttonhole. Here in a, below the button tool, we have a buttonhole tool. You can create it freely anywhere that you want, but I suggest that you go into the edit button, right click on it, and it's uh, we have a three, two, three tool special for <clears throat> button and buttonhole here you can convert this button to the buttonhole like this or you can right click and it's the most important tool here you can set a number layer here you can flip it but uh, you can duplicate as a buttonhole to the symmetry pattern and as you can see it's symmetrically create a buttonhole for us here if you select a button if you select a button we have a properties here and the most important thing here that we have a separate tab for button and the buttonhole here it's like a fabric you can add um, a diff different button here if you click on this main button here that gives to all the button in the project you have the uh, main setting here but a simple setting is here when you select the button. Here you can change the angle of this button here. You can change the thread line. As you can see, we have a thread line here. You can change the thread line length. You can change the style from here. For example, if you add three style button that you can change the properties here. And after that, you can select the style from here in the button. Okay, <clears throat> select it again. The collision, yes, of course, we need a collision. It's very important. And here you can make the measurement to position it, but we are doing to do it to this manual is better. And if you select the button hole here, we have a, a small but important sitting there. And if you go to the buttonhole sitting you can change main sitting of the buttonhole for example shape i like this shape for example or this shape i will you give you an example here so in here you can change a main setting but if you select it here you can change the angle as you can see yes i need a 19 yeah if you want it uh bind position look at it 3d 2d we have a dot here you can see it in a bind as you can see changing the bind mean if uh this button want to fasten to this close uh, to this button hole 
where does it locate? The location of the point, uh, where, where is the location of this uh, button? For example, if you set it in this direction, as you can see this button, it's positioned there. Yeah, have a little point, you can see it here, it's blue. Yeah, you can see it better here. As you can see, it's changing. Okay. So in a 50, it means exactly this button fastened to middle of this buttonhole. <clears throat> okay. You can change the direction on buttonhole if you want. But I like this direction more. Here you can change the style. As you can see, as I said before, you can... If you select the button hole, we have a main setting and and you can change the main setting and assign. Okay, I'll give you an example for, uh, I will explain the settings, but the main setting, the most interesting, um, simple setting is there. So you need fast and this button to do this button hole. Another tool, as you can see in here, we have a button and the button hold tool, and this is an edit. If you want to move it, you can. If you want to fasten it, you have to select the fasten, then select in a 2D, then select the button. And as you can see, this hand, this arrow will be uh, appear, and you have to go to the button holes automatically, a snap, and then click. And as you can see in a 3D, it will be fastened. And as I said before, if you want to simulate it, you have to select your, uh, it will be a snap, it means a snap it, don't worry about that. Make your pattern like this to help the simulation and simulate. And as you can see, it will be uh, fast and very nice. Okay, don't, don't forget to, uh, action like this okay if you want to set a rule of the um, simulation you can control Z to before that I want to explain the sit main sitting for button if you click the button here it's main sitting from here it's a category in this button you can here change the shape of the button here you can change the shape of the button, any shape that you want. And here you can add a button from here that I will be ex explain you in the next lesson. Here you can change uh, the thread type. As you can see, we have a thread type here. You can make it cross. As you can see, parallel or square if you want it. Here you can change the width if you want to a smaller button you can do it yeah it's more beautiful if you want to smaller and change it you can do it here you can change the thickness of your button if you want more thickness as you can see you can change the thickness here you can change the weight as you can see if i simulate it's very light button but the simulate is on if i increase uh, the um, decrease the number of the weight as you can see we have a more dense and heavier button here that is fold down for example if i give a more heavier button as you can see it falls down it's it's real weight of that gram it's in a gram you can do it in a in gram here okay control z you can bring the simulation like this nice i can repair it later uh okay continued settings here's the material here you can change the material if you want to use a substance. Here you can change the type of material. I explained it before. You can refer to the previous lesson. You can give your own texture, no more map displacement over this. But for example, if you want to make it a metal, you can set it as a metal. And other properties here, reflection and map. And the thread. 
You can change the thread material. Don't want to use the same material as a button. Don't thread is like material. I want to um, change it to the letter, for example. Letter material properties, okay? Not exactly like a letter. The properties of the letter. And that's it. You can change, give your color if you want. For example, a red color, or blue color. Any color that you want, you can. For better seeing that, I want to give you orange. And that's it. It's very easy. In a buttonhole, we have a most easier uh, setting here. You can change the shape. You can add a buttonhole with. It's very important. I want need a smaller buttonhole. Change the width in a smaller. Okay, that's nice. A little bit. Here you can change the type as before. Change the properties, change the color, of course. I need a dark blue color, for example, here. And that's it. It's very easy in its setting. Okay, I want to set a roll up the button here. What can I do? Go into the edit button. Don't forget that. You can control C and then control V. And holding shift to make it, uh, you can see it in the 3D better. Don't forget to holding shift and then before clicking, right click as I said before, to change interval. And as you can see, you can change the interval very easy and hit OK. I explained them before. Please refer to my previous lesson. And if you are in a buttonhole sitting, if you click and drag it, it just select the buttons. And as I said before, right click and you can duplicate as a buttonhole in a symmetry. And because I selected before, we have double. You can delete one of them. And I think this direction for buttonhole is nice. And I want to fasten them. If you simulate it, as you can see, they are dropped down because they are not fastened. Go into the fasten tool. Click and drag whole button, and as you can see, this arrow will be up here, here, and set on the button hole and click. And all of them is fast. Go to the select tool before the fastening. Don't forget to select and go your pattern above the other pattern that are fast, and then simulate. Don't forget that. Oh, as you can see, we have a problem here. Just move a little bit. Oh, not good. Control Z. Mm -hmm. So, what can I do here? You can, you have to bring your simulation a below that. Look at it, what's happened. Now, now, it's got better. That's right. Okay, that's okay. And that's it. Or you can change the layer set. For example, you can uh, go to the Edit tool and select the button in a right click here. You can set the layer streaming. You can, for example, set this layer on a layer two and select your pattern. And as you can see, here it's a layer zero. This uh, changing layer help the software to uh, identify your pattern and uh, make them swing better. Okay, if you want to open your uh, button again, you can go to the fasten and just click and drag. They will be open. And uh, it is in a wrong direction as, as you can see. 
the button have to be above this part. So we move the pattern to make it easier, make it a little bit stretched like this. Hello, my friends. To continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now, you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.